five, four, three, two, uno. With the Spanish again. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> Facts. Welcome to episode 25. 26, oh, shit. 26. <laughs> 26. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Y'all Asians are supposed to be good at counting. Yes and no. Ah, uh, listen. All I remember is y'all was killing it in math class. That's all I gotta say. I'm good at basic math and percentages, multiplication, division, fraction, algebra. Nope. Exactly. Fair enough. Basic, like me. I'm a basic bitch. Basic hoe. Damn right. Welcome to episode 26. <laughs> Back of Fresh Talks. I am your host, Fresh Philly. With co-host Sneakers App God. Not not this week. I kind of yeah, fucking little hurt. Bitch. Still got more wins than you, bitch. But co-host Nesto. You know one thing I always win? What? Being a fat whore. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, before we talk about anything, what you had on feast today, Nish Nish? Uh, I put my Hirachis on today. And then I threw on my React Impacts again. I saw that. I saw yeah. I saw the Hirachi, the pink, the white Her, pink. The uh, purple. Oh, purple. Purple, fault. yeah. Bitches purple. are comfortable. Yeah, I don't know how you could fit a straight size. I had to go half size. And I up. had thick socks on today, too. That's the thing. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, it, it was fucking... It was. Yeah. Com- I mean, of course, when I first had to like put them in, mm, it was a, a little pain. Snug, right? Yeah, it was a little snug. But after I walk it, I think I walked like half a day. With them on, mm. it broke out. So yeah, yeah, I can't. I haven't worn my Harachi. I might actually wear mine tomorrow. Actually, fuck it, they're comfortable. Shit, I forgot they how are comfortable, comfortable they are. They're bro. snug. This they remind uh, Harachis remind me of Joy Rides because that's what I wore today. Ah. It's like a snug fit, very narrow or semi narrow, like the two seventies. Yeah, Nike similar, team. similar to that. Yeah, that that fuck, narrowness. Yeah, yeah, that fucking yeah. Yeah. So um, Joy Rides today. Uh, I like I showed you the white, all white Hirachis at uh, Marshalls. Yeah, not gonna lie, it was a size ten in a ten and a half box, right? I was like, I could do a ten. You should have cop. Yeah, I, but hear me out. And I looked at them. I was like, Yo, why do they look so small for a size ten? Find out it was size ten in women's. women's. Mm. And then I was sad. <laughs> Facts. Fifty bucks. You can't beat that. You know what I mean? I would have copped. If it was my size. I would have copped right then and there. Fair, because that's kind of what they're going on sale for right now, 50, 55 bucks. So, yeah, you would have won. All I'm saying is this. If I see anything at Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, and it's something I know I will want, and is at a discounted price Facts. on top of a discounted price, I'm copying. Facts. Free runs, Air Maxes. Like you, those are like more so like Nike running or training yeah. shoes that will be there. But overall, it's still always a cop for me. Facts. Go-to. I would have done those. I'm just waiting for the dad to find some uh, platform shoes, like uh, like lifting platform shoes, oh, like for squatting luck. mainly. Good luck. And them Be bitches are expensive, bro. They're like 150. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're like uh, 150. Uh, there's just one pair I like. It's like a, a white one. It's like a neon pink and neon orange and neon yellow on the midsole. Ooh. And you know, you know me. I, That's I'm spicy. Call call me the the Asian riffraff. My Asian persuasion. <laughs> Oriental takeout. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, like for me, it was always like the abstract like footwear mm. when it comes to color schemes was always my go to. Fair. Always my go to. Fair. Uh, so that being said, uh, let's get into it and let's go with the topics today. First off, I want to, uh, shout out to my homie. I don't know if he wants his name to be put out on here. Mm. So I'm going to keep it, uh, keep it like that. Neutral. Facts. (laughs) Uh, he, he posted our video like nonstop. Nice. Uh, on YouTube and showed mad love him and his wife. Nice. You know what I mean? And shout outs to them. Shout outs to them. It's a funny thing in that video, I stopped wearing my mask now. And everyone <laughs> like uh, was appalled. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. It's for- funny because I did not notice it. I, I thought I took un- it out. Until you said something. And I was like, did this motherfucker take off his mask? And then when I went back, that's when he was cleaning the camera. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah. that's what he was I thought I about. took that part out. Uh-uh. You know what I mean? So, like, 
if y'all haven't, please go on my my YouTube page or YouTube channel at Fresh Philly two one five. Uh, our first uh, sneaker vlog is there, and yeah, you see me wearing the mask. The most, like, literally, set, like, what say, sixteen minutes and like forty seconds, and you see my face for like ten seconds. <laughs> literally, and it like... ruins the whole video. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny, bro. I was just like, fuck. fuck. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Why fuck not? It. I told you, bro. One day it was gonna have to come off. No, because the plan was to do it at ten k. And then do the giveaway was, at 10K. Uh, I was going to say, was that the giveaway? No, no, Taking no, off no, the no, no, no. Y'all just I got robbed. <laughs> I am not cheap like that. I'm cheap, but I ain't that fucking cheap. No, nah, he's cheap. I'm cheap for myself. <laughs> he's cheap. But yeah, so I took off the mask. A lot of people was like, finally. <laughs> a lot of people were giving compliments. They was like, yeah, he a cute little Asian hoe. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, damn, okay. Thank you. I was like, no beard? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You know damn well I can't grow a beard, even oh, if I try. Uh, but more important things, Arizona. Facts. Eagles are going. Uh, who else? Kansas City? Yes. To Andy me. Andy Reid. To me. It's like the best matchup in the fucking world. It really world. is, bro, because Andy Reid deserves it, bro. But also Philly, Philadelphia does deserve another chip. It's, it's like if we win two if, chips if, in if, 10 years, that's... I ain't gonna lie. Facts, that's a plot. I told everyone the last championship in 2017, correct? Mm-hmm. I was happy to live through a Super Bowl and win one. Facts. The fact that we went to one when I was a kid, I was like, all right, cool. And the fact that we won one, and we went to one and won one against Tom Brady. Facts. Yeah, because y'all did deserve that one win against so Tom. So it was like, it's like, I was I was so excited. You know, I, mean, I actually went to the parade and everything. You know what I mean? Facts. This year, I might not. I don't know yet. If it is, it's on a thir- I hope it's going to be on a Thursday because I get off Thursday morning. I just I- want that day off. I'm not I'm not going to work, bro. You're not going on? Bro, it's going to be hard to get to work. That city's going to be wild, bro. But then you you work closer to me where it's like out the... Like yeah, but like getting to my job is going to be a pain. No, not if you go on trade on Columbus. No? Depending on how the city gets. Mm, it always depends on how the city I gets. I mean, it's... I know it starts from Broad Street all the way from stadiums down straight to Center City. That's what I'm saying. By and the stadiums uh, art museum and, shit. and stuff. Yeah, so it all depends, like I said, how crazy it gets. It all depends on how the cops go and close down the city. True. So, might, yeah. Might different setup. Yeah. I mean, our mayor said he's willing to spend big bucks for this year. That's what like, I'm saying. So, I, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm going to work anyway. What, but, what do you mean by big bucks, though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Like, what are you going to do? Using off? your tax money to fund your parade. <laughs> Look, when you say bed bucks, I'm thinking like free food, <laughs> free nah, gear. Fuck no, the most y'all ever get better security, more cops. That's about it. True, fair enough. As long as everyone's safe on the parade, facts. I'm just happy. You know what I facts. mean? Facts. Uh, also, shouts to the homies James and Brian for listening to the podcast or well, the last episode. Nice. Shout when out to, to my, them. My my boy E's uh graduation uh, get together Fact. they told me they were listening to it and I want to say I appreciate that I appreciate it uh now into more serious matter oh shit the two teenagers in Chicago right mm-hmm. they got a shout over a pair of sneakers we don't know what sneakers That that's not yeah. the main point right but you know this is a sneaker podcast so we gotta talk facts. about facts it was a meetup gone wrong. Mm-hmm. So one teen is dead, uh, Jordan Nixon. Uh, so condolences, first off, to mm-hmm. the Nixon family. And the other is hop- hospitalized. Mm. Okay. And it was basically over $240. You killed and possibly paralyzed a child. Child. Because if you're under 18, you're a child. I'm going to say it like that. Right. For two forty, you like, can literally work. That's the thing, bro. Nobody wants to fucking work, bro. Since pandemic hit and everybody been fucking doing what the PP loans or whatever mm. the fuck, bro. Nobody wants to work nowadays, bro. And if they do work, they're like, I ain't getting paid enough. I ain't doing this. Like blah blah blah. But it's kind. Of, what the get can't not getting paid enough is true because everything is going up, which yeah, I fully understand. I get that, but, but that doesn't give you the fucking right to guard, start shooting motherfuckers. I'm robbing motherfuckers. Like I said again, bro, motherfuckers don't want to work. I get it. 
every job ain't gonna start you off good. You have to work for that. Exactly. Bread. But like I said, bro, motherfuckers, I don't know what it is, bro. Especially not over two hundred and forty fucking dollars, bro. And it's like, how many? Like not even like put the sneaker shit aside, okay? Mm-hmm. How many people are gonna keep dying every year over some dumb shit like this? You know what I mean? Like, I will never justify killing someone Facts. during a robbery because the fact that people say robbery grunt. Robbery gone wrong mm-hmm. is just fucking retarded. I don't care. I use the R word for this one. Facts. It's fucking straight retarded. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, there's no need for that shit. I understand money is tight. Okay, cool. Right. But you see other folks out there who, or other families out there who mm-hmm. are struggling, but they still do right by society, right by everyone, right by their own family, instead of fucking doing all that extra shit. Facts. Just penny pinch. Sell your shit. Like if you have to pawn off your shit. But they shit. don't even have shit. That's probably why they do it, bro. It's like 240. And now guess what? You're serving life. I get Because you kill somebody. If, if, you're serving life. I mean, if you get caught, yeah. But like. Like, I, like, like was there even cameras? Were they even whatever? Like, I, I saw it, but I never got into it too much. Yeah. But I, like, if but, you get caught, yeah, that's fucking life for your dumb ass. For 240. For 240, bro. It's two forty. I don't know, bro. Motherfuckers are stupid. You can days. literally Uber on a bike and make two forty within a day. Bro, be a fucking delivery boy, bro. Get a bike and fucking do some door dashing. It's something, you know I mean? yeah. But like I said, condolences <clears throat> to the family. Mm-hmm. I hope they keep their heads high. Uh and moving forward, I hope just like a, as a sneaker community, we voice this out. So people can understand, like, yo, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. It's you know not, I and mean? 90% of the time, it's not worth it over a Dude, fucking sneaker. My old Facebook forum, uh-huh. right, that's still going semi-strong, because uh-huh. I stopped being admin for that shit. Uh-huh. Uh, buy, slash, sell, fresh Philly kicks. Uh-huh. People used to almost get robbed, and they'll, like, post about it. Uh-huh. And I'm like, yo... I was like, what, 18, 19 at the time? Um, mm. And it's common sense. Why would you meet someone up after even 7 p.m. after Facts. dark? That's a no, And bro. we had to put rules and regulations on there for people to know, like, look, all right, don't meet up after a certain time. time. And if you do, That's meet up you. at a police station. Yeah, from police station. Meet up at a public Setting, area. yeah. Like, it's common sense. Yeah, but you know, motherfuckers are stupid, bro. Then I wouldn't, like, this... Like, okay, I'm going to say it like this, right? There's people who are stupid and people who are innocent slash naive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, there's a fine line. Yeah, I get it. But mm. talking about stupid, uh, Nike and Drake slides. You look, at, you saw those? I saw those. Those bitches look disgusting. They look like fucking flippers. They are flippers. <laughs> Scrub flippers. I was like, what the fuck are those, bro? Watch, because it's Drake's name attached to it. Fucking hype beast. These fucking influencers are going to rock them. I'm like, nah, I'll I keep mean, my crocs. You remember those uh, moon boots that uh, that um, Kanye with, uh, Kanye did? The, the the foam runner boots? Yeah, the joint. <laughs> you know, some boy actually wore that at a uh, Soul Exchange. I, that's the first time. Seeing... Actually, yeah, I saw that. I saw I know who you're talking about. Someone actually wore those, and I'm not going to lie. That is the first time, first time ever I've seen someone wear that in person. Yeah, in actually, the no, second time I seen my boy Phil. Shout out to Phil. If um, if y'all have time, go to Common Ground. Everything they have is legit. Every all their pricing and listings are good. Okay. In fact, I might um, go there Sunday. But yeah, he's the only person I saw in person ever wear them. Mm-hmm. And then. Now this that boy, person. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I only saw them at Soul Soul Exchange, and then of course I saw Joe wearing them. Who's Joe? Fat Joe. Oh yeah, Fat Joe yeah, had them. He got on. clowned on. Yeah, he? they they fuck with him, Tom Bob, bro. What the fuck are you wearing? But because here's the thing, like to be <clears> honest, bro. I mean, let me ask you a question, right? You could be the richest motherfucker out there, okay? Mm. Or at least carefree, great money. All Facts right. must be nice. And you wear dumb, like ugly shit like that. Would you care? Or you just do it for like for in the influencing of sneaker culture? I'll probably do it just because I won't care. Because you got the money. I got the money. Why would I fuck I care? Last thing. So when you got money, would you buy shit you don't care for? 
when it comes to sneakers? Like, for example, right. I know you don't care about, let's say, uh, the Air Max Concepts. Okay? Right. Do you care about those, really? Not really. Now, would you buy them if you had the funds for Hell no. You still wouldn't? No. See, but, this is the thing. And I told you, like, before, I don't care if I'm rich or even now. Uh, if I like the sneaker, I'm going to buy it. Mm. If I don't, I'm not touching it. Mm. So, like, I don't know. Like I said, the fucking Monarchs, the Dash Shoes. They are so ugly. I like them. They're fucking comfortable, so I'm going to buy them. So if they weren't comfortable, would you wear them? If they weren't comfortable, no. So the main factor for that is the comfortability. Yeah, comfortability, making sure they look nice. But other than that, I don't know. I wouldn't touch something that just because it's height. Like, you'll never see a fucking pair of Red Thunders on my feet. I like the regular OG Thunders. I can't wait till those come out. Facts. But you'll never see some Red Thunders on my feet. You don't want to talk about that? I regret not waiting and holding on to them. They're oh, up like four fifty. I sold why? mine for three twenty. Why the what? No, why are they up so fucking because high? Because they got price? cooked. You have to remember. Hear me out, right? So, right down there, for example, mm-hmm. every all the younger generation loved them. They're right? ugly. No, hear me out. Just hear me out. I'm just a, I'm being devil's advocate right now. For okay. Them. A lot of younger generation loved them. Right? They weren't that limited, and they weren't that uh, saturated either. Mm. They're in the middle. Right, bitch is disgusting. They are. So all the kids like them. They rocked them. They fucked it up. Now li- it's limited pairs. So what are resellers going to do? They're going to utilize that and bump it up even higher. You know, what I mean, it's the same concept with the black, uh, the black cat fours. Yeah, them bitches ugly too. They were ugly. They were sitting in stores. Same the cool gray fours. Same thing with what the fours. The See fuck- what the fours? Okay, I will pay. I, I shouldn't. I should have bought it for retail, bro. You should have, bro. They were sitting in stores. You know what I did? My concept, because I didn't expect resellers to change mm-hmm. their their perspective and mindsets. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, I'll wait for those going sale. Mm-mm. Because at that time, Jordan was just flopping nonstop, no matter what it w- was, unless it was some hyped up shit. Yeah. But it wasn't hyped up shit. Facts. Now it's too late for me to get it because I'm not paying four or five hundred. Yeah, stuff I'm not that paying shit. for that shit either. And bro. even if it was a two hundred dollar pair, that shit all star lost. That's just smoother than fucking MJ's ball headed bitch ass head. <laughs> yeah, it I is, said that, Breon. It is Jordan Day, Breon. He's just hating. You know, we were, we were, we were arguing. <laughs> we were talking. I saw that shit on Instagram. Yeah. So you saw my story, right? So about don't forget, y'all went to the Wizards. No, not the next. You saw the a uh, couple other. Um, uh, I don't think I did. All right, so because he kept on saying six and zero. Oh. Uh huh. Now I I showed him a, a couple other players that were six and zero. I mean a passing like eight and zero, seven and zero. Mm-hmm. So they're better than LeBron. They're better than MJ, right? Because mm-hmm. they're they're seven and zero, eight and zero. So there was a player in the Celtics, right? I right. forgot his name. At that time, it was like less than like what ten teams or whatever. That was that was his uh, argument. Right. But I was like eight and zero, still eight and zero. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. Because because you guys use the same argument when it comes to MJ. It's six and zero. Six and zero. Oh. They're not wrong. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. But fuck LeBron. He's a piece of shit. How? He's he made schools shit. for the kids. Did, he's, yeah, he did. He's, he's, he did. he's the. He's really a great role model, bro. Is he? Name one bad thing you can say about LeBron right now. He can't rap no fucking song that ever came out. <laughs> <laughs> no, like let's say publicity wise, real shit right now, real shit. Let's have a talk right publicity? now. Publicity? I don't think I ever. Like, well, has, I don't, I don't the worst care. thing, the worst thing they did about this man, right? Was what? Besides him going Miami Heat. Being a crybaby? Yeah, that part. Uh, Because, like, publicity-wise. That's why I said publicity-wise. I mean, he's smart. He's not going to do nothing stupid. You know what I'm saying? Cameras, yeah. Besides cry when he doesn't get a foul call. But he never gets his foul calls, though. You know that. You and I both both not. Yes, he does. Where's that camera at? Let me me see. Last game? Last game? What was it? What game was that? Pacers Pacers and uh, Lakers. Yeah, when he was fucking, like, crying on the floor being a whole Cinderella. Bro. He never got his calls. Let's be real. Harden got more calls than him. Well, MJ. Well, everyone liked MJ so much, he always got his calls. You know M- that. NBA nowadays, bro, fucking rules and shit is so fucking iffy, bro. Because, I mean, Jordan, I mean, not Jordan's, Harden's step back. His step back is considered a fucking travel. It and is. nobody calls it. I don't know why. Exactly. That's what I I'm don't saying. know why. That's what I'm saying. That's and remember how when you. And now, let's say LeBron does that. What happens? I, I don't a, Come on let's be real Be real I don't follow LeBron So I can give a fuck what That's what I'm saying What if LeBron does that Step back What happens It might not get caught Depending on I don't know bro 
I don't watch LeBron. I don't watch him play. I don't give a fuck about LeBron. Right now, my focus is on my boy Luca. I like Luca. Luca is a bad I, boy. I like, that's that's like my focus Luka. on right now, Luca. I would say this when LeBron because he's my second favorite uh player in the league mm-hmm. is Luca. Mm-hmm. Because I was always focused on LeBron because let's because Breon calls me a Bron sexual. <laughs> All right. I was always so focused on LeBron right. before LeBron was AI. Facts. Right? Even when he was on Grizzlies, on Pistons. Hey, I, was I still, forgot he went to all those teams. Exactly. Shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I was still focused on AI, but then I knew, like, yo, LeBron is someone special. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it was the reason why this argument came up is because on uh, Sports Center, I was uh-huh. at the gym. They did like top ten moments, right? Uh-huh. Of LeBron. I mean, I love of uh, MJ. Uh-huh. But before that, they they talked about his tick, uh, LeBron's ticket, being like almost seventy five grand for seats when he, because the possible chance of him passing, uh, uh, what was it Wilt or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For being the yeah. number one. So next thing you know, ten top ten MJ. And I told Breon that, and he, I think he said something about. Uh, I forgot what he said, but it was in the moment like, oh, uh, it was to cleanse everyone's palates. <laughs> I was like, all right. We go oh, that route. Shit. But here's the thing. Every MJ fact that you guys throw at me, I always have a rebuttal and a comeback for it. You, say I, you can never say I can't. Facts. That's true. I'll let you live on that. I would love someday to tag team with Shay Shay. I guess Skip Bayless. I would love it. Even though I may not have the sports IQ like those two motherfuckers. Facts. But even on a drunken stoop, I probably won't have the same <laughs> IQ as those motherfuckers, yo. Facts. I felt that. But it's just because the only reason I dislike Skip, but in a good way, yeah, yeah, yeah. is because he's a Cowgirls fan. That's it. But yeah. even when his Cowgirls lose, he throws his jersey in the trash can. I love that shit. Yeah. Yo, I love that I shit. love that shit. He yeah, runs man. fast as shit. Shows his kicks, can't lose in these MJ Monday type of shit. <laughs> I love because he's a he's a dope old old like old, old head. Head, yeah. I felt that you know what I mean, but yeah, uh, that shit was crazy, and I was like, dude, that is ridiculous. Facts. But next topic, finally, uh, next week, sneaker con. Facts. Are you planning or trying to get anything? Yay or nay? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Speak to the people. Speak how about people. how about this? How about this? I'm window shopping. And let's just say if I come across something and I think it's a fair price, I might just buy on the spot. Cause like I said, I, I didn't expect for me to go to the Connect clothing store and oh, find some fucking flints. Before that. Oh. What did we cop? Facts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week. Last weekend, cause we took Jay's people to the airport. My sister and her boyfriend, basically. <laughs> we went to was, I was it Montclair? A, I was being a good brother for once, for once in his life. Piece of shit. Was it Montclair, New Jersey, mm-hmm. up upstate New Jersey? We Which, stopped. Surprisingly, when we drove by, it looked like Kensington. It and did Bron- a little bit, bro. And then next thing you know, it goes like it's like Kensington. Then it went into like a, a temp, like a broad temple area. Yeah. Then it went to like a Norristown, Doylestown type of area. And then went to when we got to the store. What area would we call that? So I said that that's like a like a a nice upper derby. Yeah, like a nice upper derby type of style. So we went in. You know, Jay doing his thing. I see some flints. You know what's funny? I didn't even catch the flints because there were some threes, some white cement threes up there. Were they? Yeah, for fucking almost four hundred. Well, we should just wait until the rehab man. Yeah. Anyway, I told that's you why. Man. Yeah, that's why I was waiting. What was the other shoe? Uh, go ahead, finish that. It was uh, those. I saw some UNC threes that they had, but they were fucking cooked, and they still had them at a high price. They were like a hundred something. No, no, no. From my size, they had they had oh two something. It was two something. It was one pair was two, another pair was three. The one that was three something was a little bit more cleaner. Of course. Um, and then you pointed out the flints. Mm. I went and saw them bitches. I was like, this man was on. It. Left and right, he was flip floppy like a fucking fish out of water, bro. Because I was like, these bitches look clean, but I was like, dude, I want to spend the money. How much they asked for? Two. How much you got it for? One seventy five. How much were you willing to pay at the time? One ninety. Exactly. <laughs> See what happens when you just ask 
God gave you a tongue to fucking talk. Yeah, but I was more. N- I, I mean, of course, I was always ass. I was below I would, retail. I was always ass, but my things was like, did I want to spend that money? Because I knew it was going to go to sneaker con. Yeah, but at the same time, you bought a pair of shoes. Treat yourself. Facts. So that's what I did. And we can match. Facts. I am thinking about bringing those out. You want to match that day? <laughs> <laughs> Just to fuck with people? We should, bro. But I do want to go loud. I do want to go yeah, loud. We, do, we, we wear uh, all Nike the Nike uh, sweat outfit uh-huh. and just that I do I do yeah, have a just whole do, outfit me too, me too. <laughs> I, that's all I'm saying we just match it for a see but I did I did want to go loud that day like what what do you mean by loud like like bright colored loud or like heat loud uh, Toro 5 loud so color loud I guess you could call it color loud cause it's not really a bright color but mm. it's, it screams mm. when you see it and then with me, we went to Play-Dohs. I couldn't find shit. Uh, and then when we were about to leave, tell them what you did, Ness. Ness. I spotted out the, uh, what was it? The fucking, fuck, what them checks called? CDG. C- yeah, CDG Chucks. Carnegie Chucks. CDG Chucks. Brand fucking new for 90? Yes. Damn. Retail is 150. I know. I saved myself basically 60 bucks with no bucks. You're welcome. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, we do want to go back, though. Oh, shout outs to them because they just started following me on the gram. Who? Uh, Plato's Closet. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, they follow my old page. But then um, I made it private. Mm, I made mine's private, so they requested me. So yeah. that's why I follow them. That's the thing. So, like, hopefully they just follow my, my sneaker page. Facts, but um, we will be back up there once again. Yeah, we get. I want to try that mall that we drove by. I know you screenshot. There's two it. malls. The one that you screenshot. I screenshot both. Ah uh, shit. Yeah. The closer one. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, sneaker con next week Saturday. You I planning? am excited. Planning on buying. Uh huh. I'm. I actually might want to sell a couple of my shit just to uh, get just to see plain money. To plain money. So. I'm not sure because. I have a budget already. I already set a budget. Um, to be honest, we'll see how that goes. Fair. Uh, but I do want to make content. Like I want to walk around, around talk to that, people, yeah. have fun, and just like, just like, have conversation with folks. You know what I mean? Fair. See where they're coming from. Make content and, and such. Uh, what was it? This is where I'm stuck at. I kind of don't want to buy nothing because. Those playoff 13s are dropping, which fucking shock dropped on us. Hold on. Give me a second. Pause. All right. Intermission. <laughs> All right. We're back from intermission. All right. So tell them what happened with the shock drop. Uh, <laughs> Thank God I was on my fucking phone. Uh, Who sent it to me? My little brother. He texted me. Shock drop. Did he get it? Yeah. Oh, f- okay. Let me explain this whole fucking right, situation, right, right, right. and I'm fucking pissed. So he texted me. He mad. Oh, I'm fucking mad. He's livid. He's <laughs> boiling. He red. He usually tan, but now he red. He look an orange. <laughs> Hear me out. This is why and you'll understand why. You should be. Well, you were fucking sleep. Uh, don't put this on me. <laughs> so my little brother texted me. Shock drop. Okay. Because we saw the Z sneakers posted like two minutes ago. He was like, yo, uh, shock drop. Go check your apps. Go, go, go. Okay. So I was only two minutes late. I clicked it. Pending. I was pending for a good like 14, 15 minutes. Mm. So my little brother. So I texted you. I was sleeping. You were sleeping. I texted him. Yeah, he called me a whore. He's a fucking whore for it. So... My little brother texted me. I texted you. We texted Randall. So, my little brother loses, right? Mm. He's like, whatever. Randall fucking wins a pair. Oh, fuck you, Randall. We a size 13 ass. <laughs> now, hear me, wait. Huh, hear me out. Shout out to Randall. He was my classmate in high school. Facts. You old motherfucker. <laughs> but hear me out now. My little brother lost. Mm. He gets a notification a minute later talking about order confirmed. Wait, what? Exactly. He gets he he gets the L that says didn't get him. Mm. A minute goes by, and it gets an order confirmed, mm. and I think they took the money out of his account. Mm. 
So I don't know what fucking glitch that happened. While all that is happening, I'm still pending. <laughs> right? So I'm like, cool. When you pen this long, it's automatically oh. Sometimes I get lucky if I'm pending a little longer. Nah, this time I fucking lost. I was fucking heated. I was like, what the fuck, bro? I just wanted some playoff 13s in my life. You wait till release day. What's if I don't win on release day again? Oh, let me take a sip real quick of um of agua. No, he got some E and J in that bitch. I know brown liquor when I see it. That's racist towards Asians. You know we love our brown liquor. Uh, what's that one drink that Gabrielli Gracia has made a joke of? Saki Saki. Oh yeah, cause um sake is Japanese yeah. wine, rice wine. Oh, some shit like that. I ain't gonna lie. Fun fact: I've been in Japan when I was a teenager. I went to a rice wine uh, company or a factory. You damn rice picker. Yeah, uh, damn right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I try to sneak some sake. They wouldn't <laughs> let me. Ah oh, shit. But um, hold on. What was I about to say? Fuck. Yeah. So this motherfucker gets mad at me for fucking sleeping. Oh, not sleeping. I took a fucking nap. Three hour nap. Who the fuck suspects a shock drop? That is, that's why it's called a fucking shock drop. Exactly. Dumbass. Man. You're supposed to be up and supposed to be helping try to get these sneakers. Dumbass. <laughs> Nobody told you to work late. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Look. Okay. Breon was up. Why couldn't you? <laughs> Breon's a weirdo. Because he be, <laughs> he be fucking having two hours of sleep and be functioning fine. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yo, real oh, shit. shit. You know what this motherfucker does, yo? What? Real shit. He'll go home after work, mm. 7 in the morning or whatever. Well, we get out at 5 or whatever, mm. right? He'll go to the gym. Hear me oh, out. Oh, fuck that. No, that's why I do too sometimes, right? Mm. And he'll run errands, help out his family. And I give him pow- power to him, probably. He got errands to help his family, you know, Mama Dukes, whatever. Do all that. Uh-huh. Right? And then by the time he has to get ready for work, come to work. He sleeps during break for like 30 minutes and they function like nothing ever happened. Bruh, I can't do that. I sleep 30 minutes, bro. That shit is a fucking wrist. But then I be me. waking him up. Sometimes I, I, I go to the break room, check on him, make sure he's not like knocked you know out. I mean? because, Yo, speaking of that, I got a story. Be, that shit fucking crazy. <laughs> I got a story. You know, you remember Hakeem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember how we used to like do the closing shift together till one in the morning? Don't tell me he fell asleep in the fucking laundry room. In the break room, because we had a couch back there. Oh, yeah. So, you know, everybody leaves, manager leaves. You know, I'm. it's just me and him. So I'm there just chilling. He does his thing. And he's like, yo, bro, I'm going to chill. Go ahead, bro. Do your thing. This nigga slept one time. He, he fell asleep on the couch, bro. For how long? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't seen him probably in a good, like, half an hour. So maybe that or more. Mm. I had to slap him, bro. Pretty, pretty heavy handed. So. Is he that like heavy? Oh, sleeper? he's a heavy sleeper, bro. I was like, yo, Hakeem, 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 nothing. Hakeem, Hakeem. Last one threw a little bit more weight into it. He woke up. He was like, yo, what's good? I was like, bro, it's time to go, fam. We're here an extra 10 minutes. I'm trying to wake you up and shit, bro. So that's, that's a little funny story. Me and Hakeem got it. This man used to fall asleep on me. You know how bad. I used to sleep heavy, so I used to work at the ramen shop, right? Mm-hmm. Break time, we sleep, take a nap or whatever. My coworkers try to wake me up, didn't wake me up. Mm-hmm. Put pans and chairs on top of me and shit. I still didn't wake up. <laughs> like, they took pictures of it, banging on that shit, still didn't wake up. Damn. And, and they said, yo, if it was on fire, you probably wouldn't wake up. You'd be, like, You'd gone. be crisp. And I was like, probably. You'd be some crispy pork. Nap. With some side now noise. it's like I wake up and the sound of like a car outside. I'm like that sometimes. Some things could wake me up, like a normal ass vibration mm. from my phone. It could ring like 30 times when I hear it. But for like uh, a text message ringer go through, mm. I'll hear that and wake up instantly. Really? Mm hmm. See, I always have my shit on uh, Do Not Disturb when I'm sleeping. Fair. Well, half of the time I don't even hear my shit anyway, so. Fair enough. Uh,. So, earlier we were talking about sneaker con. Mystery boxes are banned at sneaker con. About fucking time. And it's like, that's good. Power, mm. power to them, as in sneaker con. But why did it take this long? It should have been banned on, like, the first sighting. 
Cause somebody, somebody's trying to fight it, bro. The fucking resellers, bro. They're going to try to fight it. Like, yo, you're taking money away from me. This and that. I invested this much money to do fucking mystery boxes. That's that's not SneakerCon's fault. That's your fault. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sounds but that's like a why, you problem, not a them problem. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? People were going to try to fight it. That's why it probably took them a good while to, like, actually ban it down. So. It was so dumb, man. Like, now I'm, I'm happy that it got banned. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happen, happens to this guy moving forward. I'm not gonna bring up his name again. I I'm already done. All with I that know, thing. Jay say he's gonna throw hands if we see him next week. Oh, I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm not trying to go back to jail. Or I got bail money. I got you. Yeah, but then I gotta fight the case, and then probably gonna actually serve time. All right, that's on that. you, bro. I, said, I just got bail money. <laughs> I ain't never said you know you ain't going. No, back. I remember I told you the idea of like like celebrity boxing, but for sneakerheads, I would love that, bro. I got I got I got three people waiting in line. For me, like, or well, not three people winning a line, but more so like three people I have in mind mm. to go in the ring with. Like, fuck the boxing. I just want to fight. Pull on the fucking gloves. And I just fucking, mm. like, beat you like a fucking pork chop. Facts. <laughs> Tenderize your fucking dumbass faces. Facts. You're, I'm not going to say their names. I got I to be more positive, man. Fuck. Um, moving forward. So, you have you seen the new... Um, Color of the month Air Forces, like the green ones and such. I think I haven't saw those. So there's a green one. It's like a, a light suede green, nice, lovely colorway. I need to see. I don't think I saw those. I'll show you after this. Um, very nice. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. They changed that large normal swoosh mm-hmm. to the jewel swoosh, which mm-hmm. I don't like. Don't I understand sexy. that started off in 1997. Mm-hmm. That was a thing for them back then. But for me, it was like I don't like it. Because uh, I haven't saw it, so I'm pretty. It doesn't sound appealing to me. There's, the jewel swoosh is like, like. Oh, really that great. much. Okay. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Like you rather just keep the regular swoosh. Keep it regular. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that green, that green fucking suede is so fucking beautiful, bro. Oh, it's suede. It's like a mint. It's like a mint green type of thing. Oh, so like a light mm-hmm. green. Ooh, okay. And there's a yellow one too, but it's like a like a light. Mustard. I think I saw the yellow one. Yeah, so you see, so that that's the jewel oh, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Okay, 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 okay. I don't like it. Nah, nah, not for me. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, like, exactly. Just not for me. And I, I, I put my opinion out there. A lot, lot, lot of the IG like old heads on IG was like, you know, that was I know when it started. Yeah, I know when we started, but it's just in 1997. I understand that a swoosh is a thing for you. You facts, but not for me. Exactly. Like uh, what was it? Was somebody on the on your TikTok where they was like it's called shell toes, not shell tops? Uh-huh. Like that's how you know them as. But I know I've always known them as shell tops. I ain't never heard them. Somebody called them shell, shell toes. I would say shell tops. Yeah, yeah. I would say shell tops. Yeah, but remember somebody commented. But there's only once in a while I say shell toes. I would never say fucking shell toes. That shit sounds disgusting. So is mayonnaise, but you eat it. Yeah, but like mayonnaise is disgusting. People make fun of me all the time for that shit. And that shit is disgusting. But mayo, bro. You know why I get the corn, Mexican corn? Mm-hmm. I literally just put extra cheese so it melts with extra seasoning. And that's it. You're missing out, bro. I don't like I don't like mayonnaise. I don't know how, bro. Y'all Asians love mayonnaise. Name one. Oh, Name one dish we got Vietnamese dish right now that got mayonnaise. That's true. Besides bun me. Yeah, I was about to say. But that's that's a fusion. <laughs> Remember, bun me is actually a fusion, if you didn't if you didn't know. It's French. True. Because the baguette. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Actually now that you think nah, I don't think so. We don't. That's true. Yeah, I like a lot of fucking plants. Yeah, we all like we eat like cows, just nothing but veggie shit. In fact, it's all veggie shit, noodles and fucking a few steaks, chickens here and there. A lot of pork though. Actually, I do my, like girl, that crispy pork. My, uh, growing up, my mom didn't let me eat pork that much because it was bad for you. That's the only reason why, like, I don't eat pork <laughs> that much. Because she, like, just disowned pork when I was, like, in fourth grade moving forward. And, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I love that crispy pork with rice. And Which one? Chinese broccoli. The, 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 the braised pork or the other pork? The one that actually has, like, the skin, the crisp, like, crisp skin. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, okay. The crispy, yeah, okay, the crispy, crispy pork, pork with no fat. Now, that's the shit. That is good. You go to the, uh, left. Where, uh, where do you usually go if you go? Uh, I mean, if, uh, where do you usually go if you get it? Okay, eleven, tenth, 
It's 11th, motherfucker. No, it's, it's on 10th, motherfucker. The Are, spot that I go to is on oh, 10th. Oh, shit. Right on the corner, yellow with red lettering. It's in front of the Jade, uh, fuck. Jade Harbor. Oh. I know what you're talking about. Across the street from David's uh, mm-hmm, restaurant. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it the corner, like, uh, literally Hong, on the corner, Hong, uh, Hong Se Guy or whatever? Yeah, it's not like yeah, that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Next to Ken Seafood. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. MK. MK. It's called MK. Is it? I don't yeah. know. I just know it's yellow and that it has was red the, lettering. That, the crazy part. That's the, that's the second newest one there. So, you know how there was always Sankey? Mm hmm. And there was other places? Mm hmm. But then MK started, and then there's one across from where Rising Sun used to be. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. They're both good. I like them. They're good. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, back to shoes. <laughs> uh, I don't like that gold, the the jewel swoosh. I, yeah, it's no, it's not for us. So Nike is on a suing spree. Fast, because they about to sue Lululemon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rico so, cases are building up. So I'm gonna say this just to show what Nike's basing their this case off with Lululemon, right? So it's copyright infringement over patent infringement and. Uh, how will you say this? So there's multiple shoes that Lululemon has, mm-hmm. and it's like they're basing off a of fly net technology. Okay, mm-hmm. bliss feels, strong feels, charge feels, low and mids, and and those are the silhouettes they're using against against Lululemon Lemon. because those shoes have fly net technology supposedly. And Nike is doing that. Here's the thing. Does Nike own Flynet? Probably, bro. Like, can they do that? Yeah, you can fucking... You can own infringement material? Probably, bro. So you're telling me, what, someone fucking does leather? You gonna fucking sue them for leather? Probably. I don't know, bro. Like I said, we don't know what's the backstory. We don't know what rights they own to whatever... Like I said, my thing was I always thought they were just suing because of how they stole like the style, like did, the mold, whatever. Did you fuck see on. the shoes at Lululemon? Yeah, I saw them. Do you, does it look remotely anything to that? Fuck no. Exactly. So you just similar material. Probably yes no? yeah, similar material. But you could get that material anywhere. Yo, let me. You start a company with uh, with just denim jackets, and I buy and I start doing my own denim, denim jackets. I'm you gonna sue me for denim jackets? No. Okay. You, like, the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. Nike probably just needs some something. I feel like either Nike is getting caught up in some shit and they're trying to get, they're trying to distract the world from it. But I don't know. Probably some sweatshops in Vietnam. Probably. You tell your uncles to send me a size 12, bro. Yeah. Uh, nine and a half. I come first. <laughs> Literally. Ski, ski. <laughs> I just need a size 12, bro. That's it. Nah. I'll pay shipping. Nah. I got five dollars, bro. That's twenty pairs right there. <laughs> oh, talking about what do you call I think I told you the joke already, right? What Which do you one? call uh what do you call a uh high, uh Asian that's high? Uh Asian that's high, uh steamed rice? No. No? Fried rice. Fried rice, yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah, I remember, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I forgot oh, I forgot to put some jokes aside this week. So Facts, week, I don't know any jokes right episode now. Episode twenty seven we'll have some. They might be racist. Oh, Stay fun. tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hold it in. I couldn't. Uh, so yeah, like it's crazy how they're they're just trying to sue everybody right now, man. Facts. I don't know what it is, bro. Nike is just doing whatever the fuck they want to do. I mean, look, it makes no sense. The bait thing to me still doesn't make sense. I could kind of see why they're suing them, bro. Take those, and I'll bring you some Air Forces, and compare them side by side. I have some Air Forces right now. C- grab them. Compare them side go by get, side. Go get my beefs. We're doing this live. We're doing this live. Where do you at? Oh. So, we're going to compare beefs those real fast, the Air Forces. Yeah, they're similar silhouettes, but you can tell there's a difference, bro. Yeah, you could tell, but like, you see how the drill holes, toe cap, 
similar? Yes and no. They have less drill holes. Yeah, but the same design. They have less. Uh, just keep it simple. Yeah, less drill holes. Same design though. Stitching about the same. Star placement is the same. Not really. This is higher by a bit. The Air but Force is higher. And as well, look at the missile stitching. It's different. It has this right here. What's crazy? I have yet to wear these yet. They're still dusty. Facts. That's what I was looking at. But well, you see what I'm saying? Why would you put bait there when Nike puts air there? Why not? It's still it's not. Yeah, but they see don't, they don't that's not Yeah, but that's not ten percent. See what I'm saying? They're gonna they're gonna sue just because like oh it looks like because it has shit. to be because when when I say ten percent right, it has to be identical, identical. So you have to legit examine every single thing. So even if you say the holes right here, right? Yeah, they have holes on the toe, but guess what? It's less holes. Less holes, yeah. Boom. But still, that's one. Yeah, but that's not to them. Might check, not be one. Check. Star. Boom. That's another one. And look at this. Like the side panels, right? Mm -hmm. Different sizing. Boom. Another one. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. To them, to us, to you, yeah. that might be a no because you have like you have to actually look at it and actually think on both ends, right? Right. Now, when it comes to the 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 lace holes, this yeah, of has course, the caps. This yeah. one doesn't. Now, interior. I don't know if they really care about interior. Probably. I don't know. But let's go to the back, right? The heel. Now you see this has one. Facts. This has two. Two, yeah. So it's like, what else is there to really go off of? And like, all right, cool. Yes, yeah, they're similar right here on the bottom side. Right. But guess this is a different cut. Yeah. There's, they have an R, they don't. This is more circular, this is not. You yeah, but like I, mean? I said, to them, it it's, still resembles probably way too much for them. It took them 20 years to finally do something. Bro, they just built enough Rico cases. You just put it on the floor. I'll put them back. I think I might wear those on sneaker con now. You should. With, with your Eagles jersey? That's that's the turquoise blue, though. Eh, that's not far. my jersey. That's that's my wife's jersey, bro. Is it? I got her a Westbrook jersey. Damn. Must be nice. Play those. Ten bucks. <laughs> it's a kid's medium. She could fit that shit. God damn. Oh, yeah. She is petite. Yeah, she's small as shit. But you know what I mean? Like, Fact. you see... You see similarity, but it's not identical. identical. Yeah, but to Nike, doesn't matter. It's like me comparing you to your brother. Y'all can see y'all related. But y'all not the same. True. You know what I'm saying? True. That's how I see it. That's just me. That's mm. just me. Uh, But shout out to uh, the Connecting Clothing Store. Fact. Shout Claire. out to them. If you guys are in North Jersey, they are at 402 Bloomfield Ave, Monte Clair, New Jersey, right? Shout out to them because they let me uh, record in their store. That's mad love. They didn't even fucking know me. I asked them politely. They said, go for it with no hesitation. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that so much. Big facts. Um, so eBay winnings of this week mm -hmm. for me. Did I show you? Fuck no. I did it? Hell no. Bitch, what did you cop? Oh, I thought I did. No, you fucking Asian slut. <laughs> oh, Jordan 1 high, uh, uh, white, uh, was, ah, fuck. You got me so nervous. <laughs> Jordan 1, <laughs> Jordan, Jordan 1 high. <laughs> Jordan 1 high, metallic, uh, metallic navy. Ooh. So you ever, remember you seen the do the right, uh, do the right green? Uh -huh. So instead of the green, it's navy. It's navy. Metallic. Ooh. Bitch, you ain't show me. I got from one twenty. Damn, that's love. Authentic guarantee too. That's fucking love. You know what I'm kind of mad at? What? Ah, oh, shit. Those are dropping too. What? Yellow toes. Uh, Reebok. When are they dropping again? February eighteenth. I have a bid for the old ones that so, came back out in two thousand something. You do you really want the older pair though? Compared to a newer pair? No, but like even if I don't win the newer pair, at least I have an old pair. I feel like no, that's not gonna sell out, bro. It might. It's Reebok. No one like it uh, might. Unless somehow Reebok always on the same level as Nike, it ain't no way. I don't know. I just I just hope I can find them. I just hope I am able to get my shoes on time. Facts. Because that's another thing. If, if I want to clean them and do like a little review on them and shit. Facts. And see how that goes from there. Um. Retail for those shoes are 160. I got them for 120. Market resells around 300. Damn. So that's desktop though. 
Uh, yeah. That's that being said, even the used pairs I see around two hundred. So I'm finding it for one twenty. That's not and bad. And it was a starting bid, and I just bid one twenty and let it sit for like five days. No one else bid it on it. Damn, that's fucking. Just, all stars are still there, worn a little bit. A little semi dirty, but I could clean those up. Like I said, no that's how I was with the flinch, bro. I got them laces back to yellow. Why? Uh, I mean, not the yellow, back to white. Why? Because I like my shit fresh, bro. This is why we're, we're doing talks. this live. Hold on, where's my baby? Your laces are yellow. I don't know. We were at the check. Uh, semi. Uh. Let me see yours. Oh, we never the um. Mine's had a little scuff. Yeah. It wasn't even a scuff. It was like some type of sticky material. For the glue. I don't know what it was, but I got them off. Well, and they look good. brand new. On the 23 uh, uh, hologram. Mm-hmm. See, all right. Yours is not like yellow, yellow. The ones that I grabbed were fucking yellow. I don't know, man. These I, are still okay. I would still wear them like that. I don't know. Damn, I got I, tiny as shit. <laughs> well, I'm a size nine and a half. Ah, shit. I fucking know the difference right away when I picked them up. I was like, oh. I'm a nine and a half, bro. What do you want me to do? Grow some feet, bro. I can't. I can't grow any bigger. Unless you get butt naked. <laughs> Jimmy's a grower, not a shower. Yeah, I'm right. That's why I'm married. Um, oh, shit. But nah, like, why would you yell? Un-yell- uh, uh, why would you un-yell? Because I want to... Bro, the sneaker was already fresh as shit. That's what I'm saying. It shows character. Nah, fuck that. I want them bitches white until I yellow them myself. You know. Wait, how'd you un-yell them, though? What'd you do? I just... Uh, my sneaker cleaning product. Oh, that's not bad. It wasn't just a quick, you know. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, Nike SB uh, boxes are changing. I saw uh, so, uh, all gray. Gray and white. Gray yeah. and white. I, I mean, I think I like that. Because, like, the, 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 the rainbow thing the rainbow, was, yeah, was, it was too, little... too much. But, uh, I wouldn't mind it. I still probably wouldn't mind it. What? what the, the, the rainbow. The rainbow. I mean, one. I don't mind it, but I will choose the the gray and white box over the um. The uh, yeah. Yeah. I felt that. This is more simplistic, more simple. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Save colors. Fair. Saving ink. Think about it like that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you tree hugger. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we're gonna talk about a couple of releases before we finish this podcast. Fact. So Jordan one black and white. We're not calling it the pandas. We're calling it black. They call and white. pandas. These new sneakerheads are calling them pandas. <laughs> so anything that's black and white is panda. Have you seen the fucking videos where they're like, yo, do you got the red and red and white panda? Yeah, done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what they're gonna call. Them. Fun fact. Uh, I think I, I know I told you on this before, but I don't know if I told you. So back then when I first got into Jordans, uh-huh. I thought Jordan Elevens were space jams. Yeah, I know. I oh, yeah. you were tell, yeah, you so told me. So I'll the call the bread Elevens. Be like, oh, is that the black and red space jams? Oh, the black and white yeah. space jams. <laughs> oh, black and white space jams. <laughs> Yeah, I came a long way. <laughs> so but they're yeah. gonna call these motherfuckers pandas. But are you going for them? What the black and white? Oh yeah, and... <sighs> February fifteenth. Okay. Playoffs thirteens. Are the okay. what eighteenth? No playoff thirteen. No, I'm saying they're coming out the eighteenth. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. two ten, which isn't bad. Like I mean, I if I get them, I get them. I don't. I don't. Bitch, help I, me. I want to save my money for White Cement 3 Reimagines. Throw all that shit on the credit card. And I really do want the Air Force 1 Tiffany's so bad. <sighs> but I don't want to get called a retard for paying $400 yeah, retail. fucking retard. For this guy. For, <laughs> for a shoe with sterling silver on it. Fucking retard. But I do want it. I, did you see the sample, the other, the reverse sample? Yeah. I won those. So you'd rather have the friends and family pair than the regular general yes, sir. pair. See, I just like that color. It's more loud. I like it. The, I, I mean, the black with the with the I, check you know, is nice. I can't get those Tiffany's, okay? I better get those Terror Squads that are coming out supposedly this year. Good luck. I want the Terror Squad. I want to lean back, lick them. <laughs> Facts. And tell Fat Joe, thank you. Facts. Damn, um, I do want those. Yeah, exactly. I do want those. Uh, Jordan 3 reimagined his official date, March 11th. For, hey. For 210. I'm about to be broke <laughs> these first few months. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, 
What else? And Jarritos have a date now, March 1st, 1.30. Ooh, damn, I'm about to be broke in March, bro. Sell your booty hole in Kensington. Fuck no. I'll throw it on my credit card, cuz. Jarritos. What else you said drop in March? Oh, the reimagine? Mm hmm. UNC fives are dropping too. And also Tiffany Air Forces. Yeah, you can keep seven. You, would you help me cop? I'll help you cop. Thank you. Yeah, that's $400 out of my pocket. You get $400 right back. Now nah, I'm going to charge you resale. <laughs> what is resale right now, anyways? Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. So while he does that, right? It's a lot of these releases that we do are. Are the ones that we want, all right? Facts. But we don't care what the fuck y'all want. No, we do. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Fuck all y'all. Just put Tiffany Air Forces, bro. Come on, man. Bro, sometimes fucking stock. Nothing yet. Damn, highest bid eight grand. If if they sell for that, <laughs> fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> you better get me a pair. <laughs> fuck you. I'm gonna win and not so, tell you in some. <laughs> March 13th, I want them badly. That's the highest well, bid, eight racks? Well, I said March 13th, March 7th. I doubt it, bro, because, like, I've, I don't think it's going to be that. I think this is resellers being resellers right now, bro. That's fine. If if they going for that money, I'm a cop and sell. I want it for me. Fuck you. What? <laughs> Fuck you. What about me? <laughs> it's not always about you. What about me? You can put that four hundred dollars to feed your kid. He fed. You can pay your car. It's almost paid off. You can pay your water bill that you can never get log into. Yo, <laughs> hold on. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with water department in Philly. I keep getting locked out every time I change my password. So I'd be having to go to Center City to pay that shit in person, which is very inconvenient. First world problems. I understand. But rem- remember this. It's hard to find parking in Center City. Okay? I got to find parking. Pay $6 for two hours. And then my dumbass is wanting to walk around now in the city because I'm not really much in the city anymore. So that being said, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, good luck. But yeah, I do want those Tiffany's. Please. Thank you. If they are reselling for a racks, bro, fuck you. Come on, I want them. Fuck you. I want them. That's eight racks. I'm surprised my size is even going higher than yours. Your size is a 12. That which is fucking wild because yours, what, 9.5? Highest bid right now is seven thousand a hundred and nine. We'll see how this goes. My size right now, highest bid is eight thousand eight dollars. We gotta see how this goes. I don't know what's the raffling or like. I know Tiffany's gonna do something. I know Nike's gonna do something. I don't know, but if the money is there. Best believe I'm buying. I'm fucking selling them. Ooh, oh. How much are mummies? Ooh. How much is your size for mummies right now? Seven twenty was last sale. Suck my wee wee. God damn! What's the last sale for your size? Last sale for how? Why the fuck is yours cheaper? Four forty one. I hate mm-hmm. y'all little princess ass feet. Suck my toes, you whore. You little weenie bitches. Suck my weenie. Anyways, I appreciate everyone for listening to this podcast. Facts. I appreciate everyone that's been sharing it, posting it, and such. Just to remind y'all, we posted a YouTube video, so please go on my YouTube channel. At Fresh Philly 215 Which is also my IG And my TikTok t- There you go <laughs> I just blanked out for a second And You can find us also on YouTube uh, I'm repeating again YouTube uh, IG And TikTok At Fresh Philly 215 And as well We are Going to do Apple podcasting. That's one thing I, I didn't tell you. I want oh, to tell you on the podcast. About to hop on that? So I just made it an account, Ooh. and then we gotta see how like the RSS feed works ah, and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I gotta see how that is, and I gotta see if I get charged or anything like that stuff like that, Fair. and like the revenues and whatnot. But we'll talk about that another time. Uh, please be safe out there. Please, uh, if y'all going through anything like inside and outside of. Like the sneaker community was, keep your head strong, uh, be safe because like that Chicago thing is just bullshit. 
Like, Facts is not be smart, it. man. You guys, just be smart. You know what I mean? That being said, have a nice day. Have a nice night. Thank you for listening. And we will see y'all next week. Facts deuces. Hey, that's my fucking word, bitch. Yo, listen here, you Twinkie Ian motherfucker. I don't even like Twinkies. You don't? I hate Twinkies. Listen here, you bun me fucker. I love bun me. <laughs> Yo, which, okay, hold on. That's it. So you know how like the those snacks and shit? Like like Twinkies, strawberry shortcake, yeah, yeah, yeah. nutty buddies and all that shit. What was your go to as a kid? Fuck, bro. Your number one. I'll tell you, I can't. I have two that's number one because I always went for them at the same time. Uh, I don't think. Okay, I still grab them to this day though, but they're not any of those. Though these are the Tasty Cake Company, but they're the lemon pie. You like those? I fucking love those. The lemon pie, the squirt, the rectangle yeah. joints. Really? The lemon pie. Um, what's this other one that I grabbed? The jelly filled, uh. Crumpets. crumpets yeah those. okay i, I will I grab remember. those too you you a fancy motherfucker i'm bougie bro so i always went for nutty buddies i had nutty bars like from yeah. little dubbies or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and then strawberry shortcake rolls Ooh. those two are my favorite go-to you know what's my other fucking favorite candy remember fruities oh yeah fruity tooties uh, fucking what flavor uh, whatever i was always, always yo this is i, I only went to two flavors the most Watermelon, of course. Fuck you, of course. <laughs> I love watermelon candy, man. Watermelon. <laughs> I love watermelon candy, bro. The fruits, yo. I love watermelon so much as a kid. You see that shit with rice, bro. Fuck with me. Watermelon and rice. Yes. That's some Asian shit. Damn right. <laughs> and then, um, uh, strawberry will be my second flavor for uh for Tutti Fruities. Okay. That being said, thank you guys for listening to the extra little segment we just did facts like i said have a nice day have a nice night be safe out there and we'll see y'all next week bitch say it no you say it peace deuces bitch